In this segment of the video, we will show you the general maintenance of the quad valve. The quad valve is virtually maintenance free as long as you flush the unit with solvent after each use with post catalyzed materials. One area of the quad valve that does need periodic cleaning and must be cleaned after spraying pigment with paints is the mixed chamber pressure relief valve and pressure reducer orifice. You do not need to remove the quad valve for this procedure, but you must make sure all pressure has been relieved from the system and main air supply is disconnected. The tools needed is the crescent wrench, a 10-500 cleaning kit, 91-215 needles, and an extra static mix element in case you destroy removing the one that's in the unit itself. Disassembly of the quad valve. The first item we're going to remove is the pressure relief valve and the mix chamber. Take our wrench, unscrew the mixed chamber from the quad valve, set the quad valve down. We're going to take our wrench and remove the mixed chamber from the pressure relief valve. Set it off to the side. We're going to use the pick from the 10-500 cleaning kit to push the static mix element out. We're going to set the static mix element and solvent to clean and we're going to take our brush and clean the mixed chamber inside and out and make sure it's free of any material or debris left over from spraying. We'll set that off to the side and we're going to do the pressure relief valve. Inside the pressure relief valve is the pressure reducer orifice. We'll remove the orifice from the valve. We'll take and brush through the valve to make sure it's clean with a cleaning brush. Make sure there's no material left inside. Next. We'll soak and clean the pressure reducer orifice. We'll brush it off and we'll look through it to see if you can see light. If not, we may have to use a 91215 cleaning needle. The cleaning needle will push into the orifice and make sure that's good and cleaned out. Once we have that cleaned, we're ready to reassemble the pressure relief valve, dropping back into pressure reducer orifice, setting it to the side. Then we're going to take our mix chamber and our static mix element and we're going to place it back into the mix chamber. So one piece at a time, we're gently going to push these into place, just like this. Being careful not to break them apart. Once we have that, we're going to push it down where it's flush. Then we're going to take our pressure relief valve with the pressure reducer orifice in it. Take our wrench, tighten these back down, reinsert this back into the quad valve, take our wrench and tighten that back up. At this point we're going to take our brush and we're going to clean the outlet to the gun. At this point, you've done the general maintenance of the pressure relief valve at mix chamber, the static mix element, and you're ready to spray again. If you forget to flush the unit, you may have dried or partially cured material in the quad valve, restricting or stopping the material flow through the valve. If this happens, you have to remove the fluid hose going to the gun and make sure it's not plugged. Then you have to disassemble check valves in the mix chamber for cleaning. To facilitate this, once again, you'll have to remove the pressure relief valve and mix chamber and clean those as we showed before. We have to remove the check valves. We'll set those off to the side. Now we can use our brush and go in and clean out the valve. Get any dried material out, making sure it's good and clean through. And once again, going through and cleaning the fluid outlet to the gun. Once we've done this, we'll take our brush, brush off the check valves, make sure they're clean, reassemble the unit, put the check valves back into place, use our wrench to tighten those down, put our pressure relief valve and our mix chamber back into the quad valve. Take our wrench and tighten that. 
that completes the procedure for the general maintenance of the quad valve.